and none will suppress my word and my work. You will reap what you have sown. The good seed that you planted will not reap a fair harvest. For I said that you will have a harvest of good things. My word stands uncontested and undefeated, says the Lord. Again, I cannot be mocked no. and neither will you be no. for I will shut the lion's mouth and silence his accusations against you I will rage against the enemy Come on. that has raised against you I will taunt him I will mock him I will scorn him Come on. and I will embarrass him openly says the Lord you no longer will be rejected, refused, despised, or overlooked. My life will be seen in you, and my favor will rest upon you, says the Lord. Listen, you will be sought after, and the place of your dwelling will not be sufficient for the sons and daughters that I will give you.
And let's thank God for our youth pastor. Pastor Chris, come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Good morning. As always, first, when I get up here, please be seated. Amen. As always, when I get up here, I first want to honor God. I want to honor my bishop, the man of God in my life. Without him, I would not be up here right now. I want to honor Prophet Gabriel. I want to honor Prophetess Cookie, Miss Diana, and Pastor Clifton. Right. And even Deacon Frazier, who's not here today. Right. So I'm up here to talk about what I got at the men's meeting yesterday. Oh, of course, I want to honor my mother, most definitely. Without her, I would not be in church. She's the one who pulled me into church when I was 16 years old. And I didn't want to come to church. She pulled me in and saved my life. I just thank God I was obedient. Amen. 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 So I'm up here to give you a little taste of what happened to Ms. Bean yesterday. And the Ms. Bean is just it's so powerful. It's so nourishing to your spirit and to your soul because every time Bishop speaks, the Holy Spirit uses him and then he speaks right into your heart. Right. Where the piercing is, where the, where the damage is. Right. That yeah. deep wound that you don't even realize that you have. Yeah. Right. Because right. yesterday's topic was about fathers. Right. And how in today's society we have a lack of fathers. Right. Right. But in the house of God, the fathers are provided for you. Come on. Right. And Bishop right. is a true father. Yes. Right. And I call him my father because he's been right. there for me. And me growing up, growing up without my dad in my life consistently, it wounded me. And something Bishop said yesterday, it made me tear up. I don't know if you saw me, but it touched me so deeply. He said, God can take a man who has no father and turn him into a great father. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He said, God can take a man who has no father, who has no father, and make him into a great father. Right. And I knew that was for me because. Amen. Even when I was in my teens, I, all I wanted was a family. Right. I wanted a family so much because growing up, I was missing that element in my life. Right. My mom, God bless, she did her best. My mom did her absolute best. She did right. a great job. Right. But there's some things that a woman can't do. Right. She can't do the things that a father can do. There's certain, there's certain things only a father can do. Amen. Right. And so that's why coming to church is so important because in the house of God, Everything is provided. Amen. Everything is provided in the house. Amen. If you need a mother, if you need a father, if you need a grandmother or an auntie or an uncle, God has it for you in the house. Right. Amen. Amen. And it's just, Bishop has been a father to me and Gabriel has been a big brother to me. And it's, you know, the thing about Gabriel is that whenever Gabriel speaks, he's just preaching the exact same message that Bishop has been preaching. He just mimics his father. That's all he does. He just says what Bishop says. Amen? Amen. And so it's up to us to be open and have soft hearts to receive the word that's coming through, no matter who the vessel is. Amen? Amen. 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 That's all I got. Amen. 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 Prophet Gabriel. Amen. As soon as, as soon as you make that adjustment, um, things that you need or things that you seem to be believing God for that may not um, be coming through as you, as you think they should or the time on it, if you make adjustments, Sunday is not enough. Just coming on Sunday is not enough. If you come just on Sunday, you're you're pretty much you just dwelling in the outer court, and you come and get a little splash, and then the rest of the week you just zombie zombied up in zombie land. Sunday and Thursday is not enough. It's not enough. 
you is walking with the spirit requires daily communication, daily activity, daily interaction with the spirit of God. So you have to learn how to be taught and trained how to maneuver, how to listen, how to respond, the timing, the the um, the sensitivity of the spirit that takes time and practice. And in order to incorporate it in your life to the level to where you're walking with him, see there's a difference of knowing of him and walking with him. Walking with the spirit means that every move you make or before you speak or after you speak or where you go, what you do, he's directing it all. See, my father talked about yesterday about carnality. <laughs> and he didn't just talk about carnality, he talked about how to break carnality. <clears throat> he said, when you don't know what to do, you start asking outside yourself. See, there's so many things that we have going on in our lives where we just, we just run, let me run this by you. What do you think about this? And we're just asking random people or people in our, our lives that are our friends. But how many of those people are actually led by the Spirit? When you're discussing what should you do? Or I had this thought about this. Or I was thinking about doing that. The people that you're discussing these things with, are they led by the Spirit of God? See, right there, if you ask that question, then you automatically know, and you automatically, there'll be, there'll be conviction, is, is, no, I don't do that. See, what happens is, we can't begin to renew our minds without practicing the principles. The principles are the Word of God. Prayer life. Submission to authority that God has placed in our lives. See what happens is there's a lot of people in the world, there's a lot of Christians who they've never they've never heeded authority from anyone in their lives. They've been rebellious their entire lives. So when you come to this place, you're gonna have a lot of head-on collisions because this is opposite of that. This is opposite of that. Meaning we yield to the Spirit of God and what He wants to say and what He wants to do when He says it. When he, and listen, if you have spirit eyes, you can see when it's happening. You can see when it's transpiring. You can see when certain events are taking place, you know all oh, the Spirit's on them. Or you know when you're in the Spirit, you know all oh, that's flesh. But then, guess what? There are people that look at things that happen and it's flesh during the spirit and they go, that was powerful. And then there's people that are, are paying attention and they miss it. Right by, I never, I never heard that. I never even seen that. What do you mean it was right there in front of you? I didn't see that. These are all just self-checking mechanisms because listen, we all get adjusted. We all get adjusted. And being willing, see the bar, in Proverbs it talks about this, a man that hates correction hates his own soul. Right. You ever heard that? Yeah. So right away, if you get an attitude or if you get, you get uh, offended, right. just like that, because people you say something, they're automatically offended, automatically mad, right. automatically rebutted. Right. And it's, you, know, you just go, oh, you hate your own soul. That's why I started incorporating. When I hear it, when I just go, oh, you hate your own soul. You don't even treasure your own soul. Right. 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 Now, my father, I, I've been waiting, I've been waiting for probably eight months to release this information. And I've been waiting for the time. 
Now, since my father's been hitting it more, the door is open. And what I'm speaking of is when he started on the Muslims on Thursday. And he started on them last Thursday, too. So I said, oh, it's my turn. This is two weeks in a row where he's making the church aware of what's going on with Islam. Right. Then yesterday he brought out about the vision that he had right. about seeing the darkness, the blackness. Right. That is what we will be fighting in our lifetime. Right. 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 And there's so right. much deception to where we're not even aware. We don't even think. We don't, you know, you're going to work. You got your own bills. You got this. You got to get gas in there. You're not even thinking about the, the presiding darkness that we have to combat and it's right here in your face right. and we're not aware right yeah. so he said yesterday and then uh, our praise and worship leader Mr. Nolan he had a vision and saw the same exact thing but he seen my father standing against it and combating that darkness he saw the same vision so guess what happens? that's what happens when you submit it when you submit it guess what You'll start having glimpses of when my father saw Jesus raised with his right hand over the city. You'll start seeing it. Right. You see how that works? See, many, you can't follow a man of God if you don't know what he's called to do. Right. That's why my father said he said he could talk about, ask people that have been here for 20 years, what is, our, what is the ministry? What start, when did the ministry start? They, they can't answer. There's people that still have not seen that vision. And then there are people that were a part of us that saw that vision that bounced. Right, 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 right. See, see how it works is, is what God shows is just like Moses. Right. It's just like Moses. Yeah. Right. Even if the children of Israel could not see and could not hear what Moses did, they had to follow him. Right, right, right. 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 Meaning, obviously, God is with this man because he delivered us from 400 years of tyranny, oppression, murder, all the above. So obviously God speaks to him. And it came out in the midst of yesterday when I was talking about, uh, see, what happens is people have a problem with me. They have a problem with me because they do not understand that I was specifically raised up for a specific task right. and I know my task yeah. see because of seeing and witnessing growing up seeing the dishonor right. that comes to men and women of God that have laid their lives down right. something was installed in me to where I cannot stand right. that right. I cannot stand it right. and you can find me in the Bible meaning wise is men of God that had that same temperature and that same attitude yeah. when it comes to men of God. Yeah. Right. 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 So I have been raised up and I've already accepted that I will not be popular. I've already accepted I will not have many friends. I've already accepted that I will lose relationships, people that I love that will leave because they do not understand what I have been created to do. Right. I have been raised in a time where there is no honor for God's men. Right. There is no reverence, right. very little, right. for God's house. Right. I'm not talking about religious structures. For his house, right. for right. his temple. Right. And I demand yeah. honor yeah. and respect yeah. to the true men and women of God that have laid their lives down. And I will not compromise. I will not. So when I'm around, they already see I've been like this so long that they know. Don't say certain things around me. They know when you're talking about another man of God, don't say that around Gabriel. Because I will hold the line yeah. on honor yeah. that is that has been earned and that has been shown. Yeah. And just for the simple fact that God said it's supposed to be obeyed. Right. 
Regardless of what feelings are, regardless of what thoughts are, regardless of what offenses have been made. See, we don't even know the Bible and understand that Jesus himself, the master apostle, apostle, would offend people on purpose. He would say things to offend them purposely. To see if you can be offended, guess what? You have blocked your own self from the blessing that I carry, but because you can't see what I carry, or maybe you do, but you don't like what's being said, then you have already removed yourself from what I can give what she gave me. Now, back to Islam. So my father's been hitting it, so I said, okay, now it's my time. See, because what's, what's going on is Christians and Muslims are, we already know the Muslims are deceived, but Christians are deceived also when it comes to this particular army that has been breeding and has been, has been molded to infect the world and take over the world. See, that is their objective. Their objective is they understand we don't care how many of us die. They are willing to lay their lives down for their cause, which is fed, uh, orchestrated, and birthed from deception and murder. So, unless you understand that, because there's those that believe that there are good Muslims. There's no such thing as a good, that's just like saying there are good murderers and good rapists. Even though they do that, they still got a good heart. What? No. That, those don't go together. So, something that is birth from murder and deception, there's nothing good in that. Because Jesus said, only God is good. God don't have nothing to do with that. You understand? So how can we put, oh, they're not an extremist. They're not an extremist. They're a peaceful Muslim. You're deceived. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Okay. The false prophet Muhammad, his father died when he, before he was born. He was sent to live with his grandfather as a, a Bedean, a desert wanderer with an, a, a goat herder and a camel herder. But notice that he was sent to live in a place as a desert wanderer. He was sent then, he was sent to live with his uncle who was a merchant at the age of six. He had some Christian teachings from his uncle. Local tribes ruled the lands and enforced order. Oh, wait a minute. What do you mean, way over there? And no, in those places, they got order. And if you don't want to follow order, you just get your head taken off. It's that simple. See, we have, we have so much freedom and we're so spoiled that we think, I have the right to say whatever I want. Not in the kingdom of God, you know. Come on, right. come on. Right. In the worldly system, which has been infiltrated and twisted by Satan, right. we'll get into that too, which my father said, unmasked. Right. 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 Okay, he would retreat into the mountain caves for several days at a time to pray. He did this for many years. Right. At the age of, who was he praying to? Uh, right. It wasn't the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Joseph? Right. Or Jacob? Get up. Who was he praying to? Okay. At the age of 40, he supposedly saw and received from the angel Gabriel. Oh, the unaltered word of God and starting preaching under the self-appointed title of prophet. 
Wait a minute. Last week we talked about how Satan could appear as an angel of light. Right? right? right. And without the Spirit of God, you cannot decipher, you cannot, you cannot separate, you cannot determine which is which. Right. You don't know. So here it is, he's seeking something false. So because he's seeking and setting himself apart to find something spiritual, something spiritual showed up. Right. Right. It just wasn't the Holy Spirit. All right. Right. It was Satan as an angel of light. Right. But in his mind, it was Gabriel. Right. Because he had never encountered anything like that. Okay, right. let's move on. Right. Self-appointed title of prophet. Meaning no one anointed him. Right. No one appointed him. Right. He claimed himself a prophet after he supposedly saw Gabriel. Wow. His message was not received by the local tribe leaders. Huh? They knew. Right. Imposter. Right. They knew. You haven't seen God. Right. They rejected his appearance by the angel and his message from God. Right. They rejected it. Right. Who proclaimed him as crazy and possessed and was denounced by his own uncle. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. He had it right. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? So his family, his uncle, who had given him Christian teachings, was, does it mean that he started off believing as a Christian? And then when he went in, in his own isolation to see God, something else appeared because he couldn't decipher what was God and what was not? Hey, newsflash. That happens to Christians right here every day. This is what falls out of that. Okay. He was denounced by his family. He fled to avoid further persecution, but kept on preaching deception and false doctrine. See, think about this. If he was open and yielding, he would receive from his uncle and the leaders, I missed it. Right. Right. But that's the strength of somebody that thinks they know, they heard from God, rejects leadership, rejects those that have taught them, and God has showed me and stays on their own path. Right. Oh, but guess what? He slowly gained more followers. He was a thief who would raid supply caravans, kill and steal. Wait a minute. This is the prophet, though. This is the prophet, the holy prophet, who would lead bands to kill and murder innocent people. He used the following tactics with tribes and cities. He would make peace treaties, send in spies to gain access, advance and take by force. See, we are supposed to do the same, but by the Spirit of God. We are supposed to take by force, but by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of prayer. By binding and loosing yeah. with the power of prayer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Aware of what the, listen, when you're in warfare, you got to be aware of what the enemy is doing. Right. If you're not aware, you get blindsided. Yeah. You get attacked from the back. Right. Right. When your spirit is on point, guess what? You can see behind you. Right. He killed all the leaders and people who did not agree with his teachings. Established Mecca as a center of teaching and died three years later. Now, there's more to that. One of his wives was a Catholic. 
And he went to the Catholic Church and wanted to become Catholic. The Catholic Church religious structure rejected him and said you cannot. So transfer that today. There are so many people that at some point in time that have went and looked for God and they was met with a religious spirit and it turned them off from Jesus. Because they said if that's what Jesus is, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. You're not dressed right. You don't talk right. You're not educated. You're not the right color. You're not welcome here. So they say at those times when they searching for God. See, but guess what? That's the church's fault. That's our fault. You know why? Because when those people are searching, they're supposed to run into us. If we're being led by the Spirit, guess what? They run into us. Right. So instead of a seed that was as searching to be watered, right. instead of it being set on fire, it's watered. Yeah. Right. But right. how can we even begin to do that if we don't even pray? Right. Right. We don't receive when the leader tells us something. Right. right. Come on. Right. Tell it. Okay, back to my notes. Yeah. I had to add that in yeah. because of what the bishop brought on Thursday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So you can have the understanding. Yeah. Right. See, right. a Muslim, when they come talk to me, I educate them right. on their own false religion. Right. 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 That's right. That's right. Yeah. They don't know about Ishmael. No, but guess what? They agree that Abraham's their father, right. just like us. Right. They believe that Jesus was a great prophet, but not the Son of God. Right. Wow. So when I let them know their own history about their false prophet, right. it's going to do two things. It's going to create curiosity. Or rage. That's what happens. Most of the time when truth comes, people either accept it and, and acknowledge it in the process of change begins, or anger and manifestation. But why the Bible says the truth that sets you free? But if you don't receive the truth, you stay bound. That goes for those that think that what they do is okay, and when it's explained to them, biblically back to them, that that is out of order, and that is all is wrong, and then they have a return explanation, yeah. what you just did was is, I don't want the truth, I want to stay bound by deception. He said, the bishop, that is, he said, if you start asking through the wrong channel and not wise counsel, it will not end good. Right. Right. There's a situation that happened the other night where lives was in danger. My phone was being blown up. And then I explained to the person, hey, I saw that a month ago. Leah, I saw that happen a month ago. Right. And I told your daddy. Right. Yeah. See, I was just shocked. Shocked. We can't hear. Right. We're not paying attention. Right. Oh, Gabriel right. was just talking. No, no, no. I said it a month ago. It happened this week. Right. Why are we surprised and shocked? Right. We're surprised and shocked because we don't even check in with the prophet. Right. Or the bishop. Right. Or the leadership. Right. We don't even talk to them. Or when they reach to us, we ignore them. Okay. Well, that's how you end up with six people with masks on, with guns waiting for you. That, that's, how, that's what happens. Not realizing God puts in place people that have been appointed and anointed 
by him for safety and protection right. in your own life. Why did this happen? Why did that happen? Did you talk to did you talk to wise counsel before you made that move? Did you seek counsel before you decided to do that? I gotta check everything in. No, you don't. But if you want to be safe and protected, it's called wisdom. Proverbs talks about you can accept wisdom or slap it away. That's your choice. We all have carnality and have to renew our minds to the word of God. Let's say that again. We all have carnality. Everyone has carnality. And we all have to renew our mind to the word of God every day. Every day. How issues in the house, you can't miss. You don't want him going back to prison, do you? Right. Think about how it was those right. times and those moments when he was in prison and you was alone. Do you want to go back to that? Right. Then guess what that means? You can't miss. Right. 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 That's just how it is. Yeah. Right. You want God to do something, you got to be where he yeah. teaches yeah. you because yeah. what happens is he yeah. says, I've given you the authority to do it. Right. 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 But you don't even know that. You don't even recognize that. Or you don't even know how to start to begin to do that. Right. Where are you going to learn how to take authority over situations yeah. that seem like there's nothing that can be done? Right. How do you do it? Right. How do you change the impossible and make it the possible? Right. How? God will deliver me. Yeah, how? Right. God is good. He always comes through. Yeah, how? Yeah. Right. See, those are all good surface responses. Right. Then when you by yourself, no belief. Right. No faith. Right. God's going to move. How is he going to move? Right. If you don't move. Right. When you move, right. you make him move. When you speak, he speaks. But that's only when you're talking to him. It's not you speaking, and like my dad said, you put God's stamp on it. How do you know for sure it was God that spoke to you? Come on. Come on. I know when he speaks. And when he speaks, I still right. check it in. Right. So if an anointed, appointed prophet of God has to check it in, what are you doing? Right. All right. Come on. And I know when it's God. Right. And I still check in. Right. Amen. Right. Right. No, listen. These things are going on right here. Right. You want to talk to so and so. And you are off on the other part of the country doing something and we have no clue about. But you talk to someone else in here, you didn't say nothing to leadership. Didn't ask, is this the time? Should I make this move? Then if you stuck in a tornado, then what? Why am I stuck here? Why did that accident happen? Why did I lose my job? Why is my child sick? Why is my money being taken? Why is my car down? Oh, oh you do your own thing. That's why. It's a simple answer. You're on your own path. That's why. Anytime you have those questions, just stop asking and walk right in the mirror. Just don't ask. Just walk right in the mirror. You'll have your answer. Oh, it's me. And you listen to the Spirit, he'll say, you. You don't listen. You don't want to accept 
Right. You don't want to yield. Right. So you got to get all this extra until you learn how to. Right. right. Change the only thing the God God's word is the only thing that changes your mind. Yes. Yes. Say that again. Yes. God's word is the only thing that changes your mind. Right. Meaning there's no good book you can go read. There's no class you can take. Right. There's not a school course that says renewing of the mind 101. Right. That class is here. Right. But that's not at a university. Right. Speaking of universities, you know how wrong we've been taught? There's a whole study that says, listen, if you can see, since Donald, President Donald Trump has been in place, a lot of things have been, are being changed. Right. Meaning right. in our foundational ways right. of dealing with things. Right. You know how, see, in our minds, we believe if you go to Harvard, oh my God, right. Right. you're the top of the top. Right. You're the, you get the utmost respect automatically. Yeah. Do you know that they say that there's a book, and I'm getting it, I'm gonna read it, and I'm gonna have some more information. But do you know that Harvard is, do you know that 78% of the people that run our country are Harvard graduates? Meaning if you graduate from Harvard, you automatically got a slot into a place of authority that controls this country. But wait a minute, 78%, that's almost 80. Right. What about all the other universities? Right. What about the Bible colleges? Right. Those aren't even nominees. Right. But wait a minute, could that mean that this was pre-orchestrated because that school teaches a certain way of thinking? And it said that the studies show that they have been proven to demoralize, right. uh -huh. desensitize, and increase Whoa. the mentality of money. Oh, wow. Wow. That is their predominant thing they teach at Harvard. Yeah. Wow. Forget about your morals. Wow. Money is wow. over that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, shocker, huh? Right. Yeah. My, my, my son's going to Harvard. You're proud, which you should be sad. If you know what's really going on, I'll be persecuted for what I just said. I don't care. It's the truth. Because they said, look at our system. Look at our system. The system is failing more and more and more and more and more. Why? Because the same type of people are still in control, still in control, desensitizing, demoralizing our country as a whole. You have morals that you believe in the Lord. You have morals that a man and a man should not be together. Those are those are principles in the world that call them morals. They're called godly right. principles and standards. Right. But they have them as morals. Right. Anyways, do away with that. Right. And mammon is master. Right. Whatever it takes, whatever lie you got to put in a bill, right. whatever wicked law you got to pass, however many bribes you got to do to get these amount of senators to agree with you, it does not matter. Because right. it's about mammon. Right. That is what's being taught right. in your two hundred thousand right. dollar school bill. Right. 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 You get this piece of paper; it makes you certified to who? Right. Oh man! Oh, okay. Right. Exactly. If you're a man pleaser, that goes real good. Right. right. If you're a God pleaser, no, it doesn't go good. The prophet's saying you shouldn't go to school. Lie! Changing your mind 
means changing the way you think to what the word says. So many confrontations I have because I'm speaking word based and they're speaking soul based. Automatic conflict. Automatic argument. Wait a minute. You're arguing in ignorance. I can't tell you how many times I say, let's stop. Show me what you're talking about in the Bible. Because I can show you. Don't want to do it. Do not want to do it. So if you can't show me in the Bible, I don't want to hear what you're saying. That should immediately go, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you can't find it in the word, what are you talking about? Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? If you cannot back it up in the word. Tears. (laughs) You don't listen. You don't understand. No, no, no. Show me the Bible and I understand. Show me. Show me where you feeling that in here. And I, I understand. Until then, no, I cannot. Remember, I was raised up for one purpose. If you try, oh, wow, look at this. If you try to enter a field that you don't know about, don't enter in. I was sitting with somebody the other day. They were saying, well, what about if what about if we take this back street and this and this and that? Uh, won't it get to that? I said, I don't know. I ain't been over here. I don't know nothing about no back street. Right, right. 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 Yeah. Oh, you think you know everything? No, I don't. I don't know about that back street you're talking about. I don't know where we at. I know on back streets you get cleaned up. Gorillas and wolves waiting right. down that tree, right. and you're wondering why. Right. What happened, happened. Right. 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 That's why I listen. I talk about what I know. Right. What I don't know, I'm not so full of pride where I try to talk about what I don't know. I will say, I don't know about that. Right. 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 You think you know everything. No, I don't. I don't know about that back street you're talking about. <laughs> and I won't be going. Right. right. <laughs> we are supposed to walk with God yeah. as Adam walked with God. Yeah. In the cool of the day before there was sin. Right. Yeah. Okay. Guess what that means? <laughs> Listen, he was able to have full-blown conversations with the Lord. Right. Do you know that Adam could transport from here to China in just a moment's time? Because guess what? He was all spirit in the flesh. He was one with God. So he was able to go, think about it. How can he name all the animals on the planet? They weren't all just in one location. Think about that. How did he name all the animals in the planet? He had to travel. How did he travel? There was no, he wasn't riding horses. There wasn't airplanes. How did he get to name the animals in Antarctica, the penguins and all of that? Because they're not in Africa. Right? Right? You're not going to find any penguins in Africa. Africa is hot. Penguins are where it's cold. Polar bears, they're not in Africa. Right? Right? They're where it's cold. So how did he get from hot places on the earth to where it's only cold? And name those animals. How? Because he was moving by the spirit and sin wasn't even in the picture. No limitations. Like how Joshua held the sun up. When he commanded the sun to stay there for three days? How do you do that? And guess what? 
He didn't have the spirit like we do. Right. It right. fell on him and left. Right. Yeah. When it fell on him, he was able to do that. But yet, we stroke, we fill with the spirit, praying in tongues, and we can't even believe God for a job. Right. Right. How does that work? Right. Oh, a lot of us are praying to our speaks while here on earth. Yeah. Regardless of what anybody else is 